Welcome fellow explorers, and this is all about Mars' surface. Before your eyes stretches a world frozen in time, red horizons that hide secrets billions of years old. Every grain of dust, every ridge of stone, is a page from a story we're only beginning to read. Today, we dive deep into NASA's new discoveries, from Perseverance's chemical scans to Curiosity's shocking rock findings and the mysterious patterns that look eerily like ancient fossils. This is the untold story of Mars 2025. This is all about Mars surface, where every image unlocks a new mystery, and every mystery brings us closer to the truth. Subscribe now and keep your eyes on the red planet, because Mars is about to speak. It all began in the Jezero Crater, where Perseverance Rover has been exploring an ancient river delta, a place once carved by flowing water. Just months ago, NASA scientists detected something extraordinary. Rocks rich in carbonates and phosphates, minerals that usually form in the presence of life. Under Perseverance's Sherlock and Pixel instruments, tiny filaments appeared inside the rock cavities, curved, segmented, and branching. The kind of shapes life on Earth once made in its earliest days. Are these fossils? NASA hasn't confirmed it, but the resemblance is haunting. A few thousand kilometers away, Curiosity continues its climb on Mount Sharp inside Gale Crater. Here, the rover's drill uncovered layered rocks, each layer recording a different era of Martian climate. And recently, Curiosity found something no one expected, a group of twisted, branch-like rock structures, hardened into shapes almost identical to coral or microbial mats. Under ultraviolet light, these formations reflected sulfur and magnesium, both key elements found in decayed organic matter on Earth. For the scientists watching live on Earth, the question was inevitable. Could these be the imprints of ancient Martian life? Dear friends, imagine this scene. Billions of years ago, Mars wasn't dry, silent, or dead. It was blue. It had clouds, rain, and lakes shimmering under a soft sun. Rivers carved valleys, and minerals settled into deltas, forming the same type of sedimentary layers that now lie beneath Perseverance's wheels. But something changed. Volcanoes erupted, the magnetic field collapsed, and Mars lost its atmosphere. The oceans vanished into the dust, leaving behind frozen evidence of what once was. And that's exactly what the rovers are finding today. Just recently, NASA's new 4K data from Perseverance's SuperCam revealed silica-rich nodules inside rock fractures materials that only form in long-standing liquid water. Even more stunning, a chemical analysis detected organic carbon rings within the rock. Not biological proof yet, but the strongest hint so far that life-supporting chemistry once thrived here. Curiosity, on the other hand, detected methane bursts, brief surges of gas coming from the ground recorded again and again in the same crater. Where is this methane coming from? Some scientists suggest it might be trapped in ancient ice pockets, but others whisper a bolder theory. Perhaps it's being produced by something still active beneath the surface. Let's zoom out. Across the Martian equator, satellite imagery has revealed unusual patterns, fossil-like ridges shaped like branching trees and spiral marks frozen in dust. At first, these looked like mere erosion, but advanced AI imaging now shows chemical consistency between these ridges and fossilized algae on Earth. Could this be the first planetary fossil field ever found beyond Earth? If proven, it would mean Mars once hosted not just microbes, but complex colonies living in shallow Martian lakes nearly 3.5 billion years ago. Dear friends, these discoveries remind us of one truth. 
Mars isn't just a planet. It's a mirror of what Earth once was, and perhaps what Earth could one day become. Every drill mark, every dust storm captured by perseverance, is not just data, it's memory. The memory of a world that tried to live, and might still be trying. As NASA prepares for the next mission, samples collected by Perseverance will soon return to Earth. Inside those tiny rock tubes could lie the answer humanity has searched for. Are we alone in the universe? Until then, we'll keep watching, exploring, and imagining through the lens of curiosity and the courage of perseverance. Because every discovery, every spark of data from millions of kilometers away brings us one step closer to understanding the greatest mystery of all, life itself. Recently, Perseverance explored the southeastern region of Jezero Crater and found rocks with stunning multi-layered structures. Each layer contains unique minerals, carbon, iron, sulfur, and phosphates. These are the same elements found on Earth, where ancient biological activity once occurred. NASA scientists call these formations time capsules of ancient Mars, locked boxes holding the memory of a world that might once have lived. When Perseverance fired its laser across these rocks, the returning light revealed something astonishing, a spectral pattern pointing to organic molecules. Organic molecules, the very foundation of life itself. Carbon rings, hydrogen bonds, the same chemical architecture that shaped Earth's earliest oceans billions of years ago. Meanwhile, far away inside Gale Crater, Curiosity discovered a bizarre rock structure. The rocks twist and ripple in strange patterns, almost identical to fossilized microbial mats found on Earth. Microbial mats are colonies of tiny organisms that once formed thin, living carpets under shallow water. If Mars holds similar textures, it could mean life once thrived in its ancient lakes. After Curiosity drilled samples from the surface, chemical analysis revealed layers of chlorine and sulfur, the same traces found in Earth's water-formed rocks. NASA has also confirmed that in a rock named Berea, Perseverance detected hydrocarbon chains, the same chemical backbones that form DNA and proteins. These aren't coincidences. They are whispers from Mars itself, messages frozen in stone, telling us that something once breathed, moved, and lived here. My dear friends, these rocks are not just stones, they are books, and every layer is a page written by time itself. Their story is not only about Mars, it's about our own origins. Because whatever happened on Mars, perhaps once happened here too. One day, 